All right, guys, um, this is Mr. World. I um, mean, this video, I want to show you how to trade on PancakeSwap, okay? Um, I, I promised I will be doing a video on how to trade on PancakeSwap, on um, decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwaps and Co, Uniswap and Co. But for the sake of this video, it's a particular coin I want to buy now, all right? And I can buy it on PancakeSwap or Poolcoin, um, Dots app okay i think i will also do a video on how to trade on fullcoin.app one of these days but for this it is on how to trade on pancake swap um before you trade on pancake swap one important thing you need to know is that the coin you want to trade must be um on the smart um um, BNB smart chain, all right? It must be smart chain, all right? Secondly, you need to at least get the contract address. It will help you to get the correct coin you want to trade. For example, if um, if you go to CoinMarketCap right now, you will see that there are some coins. They are, they are, a coin might, might, might be called um, Full Moon, all right? And the acronym might be FM, all right? Another coin might be called Full Chrome, Full Chrome Money, and the acronym might be FM. What I'm trying to tell you now is that two coins or even three coins or more coins can um, have different use cases, but their acronym might be the same. So for you to be able to know which you need to trade, you need to know or get the contract address. So you don't go and buy the wrong one. That is why most often when trading on decentralized exchanges like um, PancakeSwap and, and Unicorn, I mean um, Uniswap, um, SushiSwap and, and others, I love making use of the contract addresses, okay? So this is my trust wallet, okay? And let's assume I want to buy, um, of course, you know you can have different um, trust wallets in one trust wallet app. You can see this is just Mr. Web 001. I have different um, trust wallet accounts. Now, so the first thing to do is to, of course, copy your contract address. Copy your contract address. Whether um, maybe I drop it in the channel or you copy it from anywhere, anywhere at all that you know or that you, you are getting the signal, of course, it should come with a contract address. If it doesn't come, you might be asked to go to CoinMarketCap to get it yourself, right? And I think I've done a video on how to do that. I think so. I think I've done a video on how to um, know where to buy any coin. I think it is one of the videos in our channels. So once you've gotten your, um, your CA, your contract address, okay, you open your trust wallet, you go to browser, all right, go to browser, all right, go to browser. Once you are here, you can just scroll, you will see pancake swap. All right, if, if the coin you want to buy is on Uniswap, this is Uniswap. Uniswap is based on Ethereum blockchain, okay? Pancake swap is for BNB smart chain, all right? There are other um, decentralized exchanges here. There are a lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them, okay? <clears throat> but PancakeSwap and Uniswap are more of, <clears throat> sorry, the most popular ones, okay? So when you want to buy a coin that has to, that is connected with the Binance Smart Chain, you go to PancakeSwap, all right? So once it's open, you need to ensure it's opening. You need to ensure you can see where I circled this this place. All right, this place. You need to ensure it is on Binance Smart Chain. But before then, if you have never traded on PancakeSwap before, you are likely to see where you'll be asked to connect your wallet. Connect your wallet. 
So just click on connect, all right? Click on connect and ensure all this place, you select Binance Smart Chain, you can see. Mine is on Binance and BNB Smart Chain. You can see it there, right? There are other um, networks there as well, you can see. That next one's but ensure you go with Binance Smart Chain. So you select it, all right? Connect your wallet by clicking Connect. Select Trust Wallet if you're using Trust Wallet. If you're using Metamax, you can select it, okay? Now, here we are seeing BNB, and here we are seeing Cake. We can see any 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 coin can be here. There is no no problems, okay? Now, you can see the amount of BNB I have zero point nine five um, BNB. That is close to three hundred dollars there. All right. So if <clears throat> I want to buy with everything that I have, of course I'll click max. All right. If I want to buy with 50%, so whatever it is, of course, here you can, you know what to do here. All right, whatever it is, you just select what um, the amount you want to buy. All right, select the amount you want to buy. After that, here, cake, you are seeing cake, but I don't want to buy cake. I don't want to buy cake. What I want to buy is a coin. If you watch, if you are watching this video, if you watch this video today, which is 21st of um, February 2023, if you watch this video today and this morning, as I'm buying this coin, go and buy it as well. I'm not supposed to reveal this information, okay, here, but if you are watching this video now, that is 21st of February 2023, between the hours of 10, 11, 12, buy this coin. Okay, so now I've copied um, the contract address of the coin already. So what I do, I'll click on cake, all right? Click on cake. Here, I'll paste my contract, the contract address I copied. I'll paste it there, all right? You can see, automatically, the coin just came up. The original coin that has this contract address just came up. So what do you do? You click on import, all right? You click on, I understand, those tickets. Forget about the high risk or first forget those ones for now. You tick it and import it, okay? All right, good. So now the GPTO is already here now for me, all right? So now, if I want to buy this particular coin, GPTO, with my 0 0.94, of course, the market, is, I think, is dropping, all right, um, BNB. This is the value that I'll be getting, all right? This is the value I'll be getting, the value I'll be getting. So what next? Another thing you need to check is the slippage. My slippage here is 12. It's 12, you can see it. Now, um, you need to understand that you can also set your slippage by going to the setting, all right? Going to go to the setting, see the slippage options here. You can also set it manually here, all right? You can set it manually here. If I, I so okay, let me reduce mine to, to, to five here, it will change. Where you, where you, you saw um, 12 now, it will now become five. You see it, right? Good. If I say, let me make use of 0 0.5. Here you saw 5, now you see 0 0.5. Okay? So now I want to try 0 0.5. Let me see if it will go through. So let's let's see. So you click swap anyway. Swap anyway. The swap has a price impact of at least 5%. Please confirm that you would like to continue with this swap. Okay? I can say okay waiting for confirmation. Now, um, you need to understand as well that you need to have some little BNB left in your wallet that you can use for transaction fee. You can see now the network fee I'm being charged is just 0 0.27 here. 
dollars, $0.27, okay? So I can click Approve, okay? I can click Approve. So I'm waiting for confirmation. You can see, transaction submitted. I can add, add this particular GPTO to wallet. I'll click on it. It will be added to my wallet, okay? But one, I also that the transaction failed, okay? It failed. So now, it failed perhaps because of the slippage. Let me check the slippage and we'll do it, okay? Max, slippage, let me use five. So now, um, thank God this came up. So when, when you want to buy a particular coin from PancakeSwap, sometimes it, feel, it feels like this. One of the reasons is either the slippage or if the slippage doesn't work, what you do, if the coin you want to buy, for example, this particular coin now, this one, all right, that I want to buy, if it has some, um, you know, you can see it's very, very long. I can't really call, the, call out these figures now. So what do I do? I can decide to just delete one zero, okay, and put one here. All right, now let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, sufficient. It's more than my listing. Still sufficient. Okay, let's try the five percent and see. Swap anyway. Okay. Approve. Let me see if it will go through now. Let's wait and see. If it goes through, we'll see it up there. I think it, it has gone through. All right. So it has gone through. So you can use 5% slippage to buy the coin. Okay, you can use it to buy the coin. So now let's go back to our, our trust wallet and check for the coin, GPTO, right? It has not come. Let's keep on, you just keep on refreshing. Refresh, okay, look at it here. You can see, you can see it here. But the coin doesn't have a Naira, or sorry, a dollar value yet. Okay, you're not seeing any dollar value here, right? But you can see dollar value is here. So now, the same way you bought this coin, that is the same way you sell it. Now to sell it, you still go back to the um, browser, go to your pancake swap, okay? Go to your pancake swap, just the opposite of the way you bought it. So now you can see we have BNB here, we have cake here. So what do you do? Click on this BNB and select that's GPTO. It's already here, right? So let the coin want to sell. Select it. Let it be up, all right? And we want to sell it to BNB. Select it. Um, select the BNB, right? If you want to sell everything, you click on Max, and you click on Enable GPTO and proceed and sell it. Okay, proceed and sell it. Another way around, you can, if, uh, let's assume here, let me even do it for you. Let me put BNB. Okay, so now let, here you can see BNB here up and, GPT, and the GPTO down. So let's assume you want to sell, the coin you want to sell is down. What do you do? You click on this arrow here they will interchange, okay? The one down will go up and the one up will come down. Let's see. Can, see. can you see it now, right? Okay, so that is the same way you sell your token. The same way you buy, that is the same way you sell. And um, for this coin that doesn't have um, um, a dollar value or worth on your trust wallet um, dashboard, you need to be monitoring it, okay? You need to be monitoring, like now you can see it has gone down, 
to now it is I have two hundred and seventy one dollars, but I bought it almost two hundred and maybe it is something or ninety ninety something dollars. It has gone down, it's still going down, but it will still go up. If it's going up, you will be seeing the value here as well. That it's going up. Okay? Hope you get this. So that is how to buy and sell um, coins using your trust wallet. That is using um, PancakeSwap in your trust wallet. So I'll do a video on how to buy buy coins, buy and sell coins using um, poolcoin.app, okay? And possibly also use um, um, Uniswap, okay? Until then, I remain Mr. Walt. Do enjoy the rest of your day.